Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the Journey to Come Wealthy. My name is Kelvin Reed, and today is Wednesday. You all know we got to do our midweek check-in just to make sure that everybody's trading okay and that you have not had anything crazy happen throughout the week. So, before I get into it, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I make videos. So, let's talk about it, right? It's Wednesday. The market is wild as always. We got a wild Wednesday here. As usual, the market's traded upside. I mean, at first, originally this morning, the market pretty much traded sideways, but it quickly had a nice little rally to the upside for most of our stocks. All right? So that's a good thing. But is this a bull trap? Is this a bull trap? Could th Things could potentially turn around tomorrow. Or have we found our level of support where things could potentially just go up from here yet again? We already broke new lows, not very much lower than original, but we found some new lows. So let's just take a look at the market real quick and see what we can come up with. All right. So we got the Dow Jones up 1.88 percent. S&P 500 up 1.97 percent. NASDAQ up 2.05 percent and the Russell up 3.17 percent. We see our VIX come down uh, hot and heavy, 7.42%. However, we still see free and fear and greed index sitting around 19. We know last time we looked at it, it was at a 17. Until it gets back into this neutral zone, we do not expect to see a lot of heavy green days. So we can see this thing trade up and down or pretty much sideways over time for the week or for and for the near future. We don't know how long this could happen, but we know that it can happen for sure, right? Um, on a positive note, some of our favorite stocks traded up today, right? Charge Point, Tesla, up. They up today. Now, again, there we saw some levels. And when we first initially started talking about Charge Point in a buy zone, it was at 14. I talked about anything lower than that, I would get back in. I, I didn't get in. I, I'm already still holding the short position in my long term, but I didn't get back in for some short swing trades. And we see Tesla. Tesla hit a low, and it now is is rebounding high and heavy. So we got to keep those things in mind. I got a nice little article here I wanted to share with you all because I thought it was very important, right? Now I said it could be a bull trap. Stock futures inch lower after Wednesday's big market rally, right? So the overnight moves came following a broad rally for stocks as the Bank of England said it would purchase bonds in an effort to help steady its financial markets and the cratering British pound. Sterling has stooped to record lows against the US dollar in recent days. So now we know Sunday and Monday, I told you all how the economy is in one of the worst situations it has ever been in based on supply and demand, inflation, fears of a recession, um, fears of deflation and just all the different things going on within the economy. And here we have it, other countries adding on to that. We know China is currently going through the supply issue. Now we know that the British pound is losing value. So it's not just us. And guess what happens when our allies, other countries that are aiding our finances, and we just, I think we just said we're going to give another billion dollars to the Ukraine and Russia issue. So when we're putting money out, other countries are losing economic value and we're losing economic value on top of all the fear and a crashing stock market. Man, who knows what can happen next, right? So we, we never know. Things could potentially go lower, right? I do want to take a quick look at our chart because today what we did is we bounced. You all saw me mark this the other day, right? We marked it and look at it. It came down here. It just barely touched it and it boost popped back up. Now, the question is, tomorrow, are we going to see things come back down, or do we potentially see things going up from here? Who knows? Nobody knows right now. As of right now, we just got to watch the market and trade in the direction of the market. This morning, I thought we were going to have a red day. I saw Tesla come down. I actually made about $40 or $50 on the downside move. I could have made a lot more, but being greedy, trying to be greedy, trying to hold for the long term, I missed out on that. But I took that $40 or $50, and on the upside, I caught it running. And I pretty much made all that money, right? So I saw this I saw this bad boy move from the 272 level to, well, this is the day. So let me go to the four hour, right? Actually, I'm going to go to the one hour for y'all just so we can get in here. So I actually caught the move up here and I got back in right here and caught the move up here again. If you follow my Instagram, you actually saw what I made. And that was by 930. After 930, I did not trade anymore today. But 
There were multiple moves to be made. You could have caught the move from the top all the way back down to the bottom, and then from the bottom all the way back to the top, if you knew how to chart, if you knew what you were looking for, if you knew how to catch these moves, right? Like I did. Like I said, I basically caught it down here. I caught it when it came down, and I, I, it caught me going back up. You see, I got it marked here, and I got out. I got out for about a $20, $50, uh, I want to say $50 gain. And it came down some more, which I was at this point, I was already out because I saw it coming up. As it was going up here, I caught it, I rode the wave up, got paid, and I got out. I could have made a lot more if I had held a little longer and rode it up here, but you already know that's not my style, right? I like to take my profits as I can, and I, I keep it moving. So that's what we got, right? It's a, it's a lot of stuff going on in the economy. As of right now, we don't know whether the market's going to trade up, down, sideways, but I am telling you all to continue to be careful. Be diligent in your trades. If you do not see any signs, any good signals, or strong direction, sit out, relax for the day. Otherwise, just continue to watch this market, and I hope you all make money. And thank you for joining the Journey Come Wealthy. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later.